In this video guide, we're going to talk about Omniverse in NVIDIA Omniverse Launcher and we're gonna see how it's gonna work and we're gonna test an app that is called Audio to Face to create, to generate animation with uh, meshes, with the uh, facial meshes of characters. So first of all, we need to get the NVIDIA Launcher or I call it this way, but it's basically the, de the developer kit application. So if we look for Omniverse Media Launcher, we find a series of results here we can have more information about how to install it and how to launch it. And here you have all the procedure if you want. So there are tutorials and you know all the info you want uh, are there in the NVIDIA website. And if uh, we go here in the results, we need to look for the Omniverse platform for OpenUSD development, or we can go, there you go. So if we go in here, we can have also a clue of what the Omniverse is about, and it's basically a series of uh, apps that, uh, that they are uh, available that can help you to do many different things. So we can go also here, download the Omniverse development kit, or we can directly go to Omniverse SDK download, or you can search directly for that. Now you need to register, so you need to fill up the information here, submit, and then you're gonna uh, have the, the little X file that you need to double click on and just install the, the launcher. And usually it will be found in the downloads so you can find it in there. And uh, once you do that, you, you will be able then to, to install the, the other apps. So once you double click install the launcher or the, the, the platform uh, as you may wanna call it, then you can proceed. Now I'm gonna, install the audio to phase app which is a really interesting app to animate phases and just to test how everything works so this is the platform or the launcher and it has a main page a home page and then it has libraries you can see i've already downloaded and installed the audio to phase app that is now in beta version so it's not complete it's still under development and if i want to see it if i want to test it if i want to try it I can just download it, install it, and then launch it. Now, this is in Italian. You can change the language on the settings of the launcher, but it's gonna be so easy, so I'm gonna keep Italian right now. You have a catalog, or let's say a marketplace, where you find different apps for, for example, SketchUp, Rhino, Maya, Unreal Engine. You find all this software in the, in the channel, in the 3D section, by the way. So you look for whatever you want in, the, in our channel, you may find the video guide, all the courses that you're looking for. I can also uh, search in here, for example, in the apps, I can search for audio to face and be careful on the spelling. There you go. So I can go directly to the app like this and I can launch by clicking on the little button because I already downloaded and installed this. Now, if you don't wanna go by searching, you don't know the name, you, you can search for categories and you can, for example, go here, and this is another app, it's called the Omniverse Kit. So I think it's uh, like a basic package that you can use. And there's the, the green button to install, and now it's installing. You can see here, up here, it's installing the kit, and it's quite big. So I'm gonna pause this if I want to then pause and then retrieve later. Or you can also click on this little arrow and just delete this and not complete the installation. Now, once you're finished, you can find your apps in the library. And here you can see I only have the um, media to face. If I click on the little hamburger, I can also dis uninstall this, delete it from my um, Omniverse launcher. I can also change the visualization here. I can change and see some larger thumbnails or you know more info for each single app that is available. At the moment, you can see the beta version and the one that are already completed. Once you're ready, you click on the launch button, white button, and launch the application. Now you can see it's launching. It's gonna take a while. Sometimes it takes seconds. This one here takes, I, I think, more minutes than seconds. So you need to be a little bit patient and it will eventually open up. And that's it. So this is how you open an app. Once you've downloaded, installed it, you just launch it. And just to give you a quick overview of this really interesting app, 
Uh, well, you see, we have some examples down here. We can get a face and we can animate it. And then we have also other types of animation down there. Now to do this quick, just to show you how, how it works, I will go to the models and select Claire. And then I just click on the get started button. And you can see this is all in English right now. So it's opening up the various meshes to animate the face. So we have the teeth, we have the eyes that are inside. We are rendering right now with the RTX real-time renderer. So I guess you need to have an RTX um, video card by uh, NVIDIA, uh, I, I guess. And then um, we can load also draft. So if you want to be quicker to render, it's going to be less quality, but with more performance. And then, yeah, you can set up the view here. Um, then you have the stage, which is basically the scene that you're working with. And then you have all these panels. The most important one in this case is audio to face. So this is when you can select the, tr the audio track and that is going to like do a synchronization with the mesh. It's going to like do a, a lip sync. It's going to do, it's going to show you the animated talking fo uh, character, the, the animated talking face of the character. And so you can select a track. You can select another folder with your tracks. These are the preset tracks that you can use. And if you press play, you can hear the, the character talking. You can actually hear the audio and the movement of the lips, of the teeth, of the eyes, and of the entire skin is going to be synchronized. Now, if you press the scroll wheel, you can pan. If you scroll the scroll wheel, you can zoom. If you right click the, the, the scroll wheel, you can orbit. But be careful in the camera settings. So you, you could lose. So try to you know frame the character. So I'm orbiting, but uh, also I need to adjust it with the pan a little bit. And that's it. So orbiting and panning little by little. So let's say that I want to keep this point of view. And again, just press play. Choose an audio track. Choose a folder where you can find audio tracks. The format is WAV. And then you can play also with the emotion. This is to you know give some more characterization to your character so it can be anger can be joy can be pain you can also click on the solo to see only that emotion now if you don't see it just press play there you go so now, now we see some uh, amazement and then we can try with fear so this is supposed to be fear and then pain so let me play there you go so you have painful look and um, sadness and you, you understand you can move on now and play around with all the different emotions you can also delete emotions etc etc so this is uh, joy and again you can test other tracks I guess uh, the, the important thing is that you have WAV format for the tracks so you can upload yours use yours and do the the, the talking character with your voice and that's basically it. Now, uh, if you want to use your custom phase, you need to create a combination, a hierarchy of different meshes. One mesh is for the overall face and head, which is going to be the skin mesh. And then you have one for the tongue. So if you create yours, you need to create all these different parts and then you need to link them from here in order for them to be deformed and morphed and to be you know following the audio now you can also change the visualization here if you want to see through you can put the pixel storm and wireframe so we can see that inside we have the spheres for the eyes and then we have teeth for the bottom part of the teeth and then we have the tongue and the overall face the overall skin so well, that's roughly how it's working. Of course, it needs time. You need to work on this if you want to do this properly and professionally. You need to, you know, study more. But we're eventually going to do more videos about this and like similar apps or similar phase animation tutorials. So subscribe if you want to stay updated. There are also some render settings here so you can play with the rendering. If you're interested in 3D modeling, 3D rendering, you can also check the other video courses that we have in the channel and uh, also about character design, character, 3D character, modeling, sculpting, 
in Blender and Matbox and ZBrush, etc. etc. So we have a lot of courses about characters. We're gonna produce more, so subscribe to stay updated. If you wanna thank us, support us so that we can create more videos, please join the channel as a supporter. And that's it. Check the other video, video guys, video courses in the channel. This will be all for this. So thanks and see you in the next video guide.